Anderson, it was just heart wrenching to hear Mason explain everything that went down on Monday morning before his class was supposed to begin. He says that he heard the shots and thought that they were off in the distance and then his friends were running everywhere and he couldn't figure out why. And then he saw Mr. Lansbury, who was not his teacher, but a beloved friend, he called him on the ground and he wanted to help him. And that's when everything started to change. Take a listen. Did you come face to face with him? <clears throat> Did he say anything to you? He just shot you. How far away from you was he? About 10, 20 feet. And did you realize right away that you had been shot? Did you know you knew it? Yeah, and there was a very sharp pain in my stomach. Was Mr. Lansbury one of your teachers? No, he was just a really good friend of mine that I, because I used to go visit him every time at lunch and before school. Why'd you like him so much? Because he was funny and friendly and fun to hang around. When you came to him, was everyone else running when you tried to go to to him when, when he was on no, the No, the first shot was my friend, and then Mr. Lansbury got shot. And then I l was looking around my school, and I'm like, why is everybody running from, from in, in, nothing? And then I'm like, oh, wow. It's, and then I saw Mr. Lansbury got shot. Um, he was laying on the ground, and I ran over and a couple of JJ's friends, like, we need to get him into the, into the school. And so we tried, and my, one of my vice principals, Mr. Andres, um, said that get in the building, get in the school fast. And then I, then that's when I ran to my backpack and I got shot. Did you know the boy who was doing the shooting? What kind of person was he? Um, he was nice. I, but I think he had some mental issues in his, in his um, head. Um, Why do you think that? Um, because he argues with people a lot. You know, I see him being ar argumentative with teachers and um, students. And that's why I think he is a little mental up in the head. So, yeah. Did he have friends? Did you see him with friends? Um, I had seen him with friends. But, and I don't think he was being bullied at all. Oh, really? You don't think he was but being bullied? Because if he was being bullied and I saw it, I would have stuck up for him. I was one of his friends. So when you saw it was him with the gun shooting you, what were you thinking? Uh, before I got shot, I'm like, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. And I looked at him and I saw it and he raised it and he shot me in my stomach. And he didn't say anything to you? He didn't say anything. I'm like, please don't shoot me, please don't shoot me. And then he raised it and boom, shot me. But here's someone you say was a friend, someone you say you would have stuck up for if you saw him getting bullied, and yet this is the same boy that shot you. What did you think of that? After he shot me, I thought that he wasn't my real friend. What do you want people to learn from what you've been through? I want people to learn from what I've been through is to, if you ever shot a gun and you accidentally killed somebody, you would have made a very big mistake from that. And I used to treat guns not poorly, but a little poorly because I thought they were a toy. But when I got shot, I learned that they're not just a toy. They're a weapon, and they could damage somebody very bad. So I want everybody in the world to know that war and battles and so anything dealing with weapons and guns and knives, they're all weapons and they could kill you very easily if you hit the right spot. And I'm lucky to be alive and it didn't, the bullet didn't go through me. If it did, I would have been dead. But it just went around me. So I'm very lucky to be alive.
And Anderson, we did this interview with his mother sitting right there by his side. She really wanted to talk and he wanted to talk to make it clear that this was not a case of them being targeted. He was not being targeted and that he wasn't a bully in this case. In fact, he thought of the shooter as a friend. Uh, she also wanted to make it very clear as well that she owns a gun and she doesn't think that guns are the problem. The problem is that parents don't lock up their guns safely the way they need to be kept out of their children's hands. That was also something she was very passionate about. And as far as the parents of the shooter, she says that she feels sorry for them because she knows that they are grieving and she has no ill will toward them, Anderson. Mm.